Hello, everyone, and welcome to my poster presentation. Today, I will be talking to you about putting standards into practice, ontologizing the Canadian COVID genomics network specification. My name is Rhiannon Cameron, and I'm speaking on behalf of the Xiao Public Health Bioinformatics Laboratory. So the problem we're trying to address is our non-standardized information systems that are across institutions and result in data sets that are difficult to integrate and compare, as exemplified by the challenge we've come across with data harmonization within Canada's decentralized health system. The Canadian COVID-19 Genomics Network, Network CANCOGEN, is Canada's genomic surveillance response initiative to the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic. It aimed, it's aiming to sequence 150,000 virus genomes and 10,000 human genomes. It is developing a national surveillance framework that can be repurposed to address future outbreaks. Our team focuses on contextual data, that being the data that tells the essential story surrounding the sequence data, not the sequence data itself. We provide, it provides critical information for monitoring the origin, spread, and evolution of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, and ultimately informs public health decision making. The CanCogen contextual data specification was developed collaboratively to harmonize the different provincial contextual data terms and fields before and as they arrive at the National Microbiology Laboratory, where this data is then used to understand how it is how this SARS-CoV-2 and the manifestation COVID-19 has entered into Canada, as well as the Canadian VirusSeq data portal, which is a collaborative open access data portal where Canadian researchers can track and analyze the SARS-CoV-2 virus. It's specialized to focus on SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19 related questions. It ultimately, at this time, can map to a variety of different data sets and standards and has been adopted not only within and across Canada, but around the world by different institutions. The Data Harmonizer is an open source template driven, dynamically generated spreadsheet application that we developed in parallel with the standard. It's a browser based application that runs offline ensuring sensitive data can be privately loaded, edited, and validated, as well as saved. And we wanted to use this to facilitate the use of the, build this to facilitate the use of the CanCogen specification, um, as well as just allow, create a tool that can be reused with other specifications and have customizable import and export template functions. So we are working on ontologizing the specification at this time and integrating this functionality into the data harmonizer. We want to do this because ontologies provide data structure semantics with nuanced, meaningful relationships that people can comprehend, but in a format that computers can logically reason over. It also provides a controlled vocabulary with definitions, synonyms, additional information that is open, collaborative, and accessible, and also permanent. We have permanent URLs that allows you to link to this published vocab, and even if we replace it with new vocab, there will be obsolescent annotations that allow you to then reach those replacements. It's part of the, um, our work is part of the Open Biological and Biomedical Ontology, OBO, Boundary, which is uh, multiple domain and application ontologies that are organized under a basic formal ontology to facilitate interoperability and ultimately um, are, all, are all findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable, being fair. Genopio is the genomic epidemiology ontology that was developed at our lab. It's an application ontology for infectious disease surveillance and outbreak investigations. This is currently what is housing the CanCogen specification model. We have 140 field specification terms, over 1,000 pick list terms and counting, which we've either created or imported from other ontologies, and then 550 that are in development or have been developed but are awaiting release because we're working in collaboration with other OBO domain ontologies because we don't want to create redundancies in terminology. Utilizing LinkML, Linked Data Modeling Language, is a general purpose open source data structure specification language that follows ontological principles integrate and integrates semantics and data processing. So why do we want to use it? Well, um, aside from the aforementioned reasons, it's currently in the process of encoding other standards that will facilitate mapping such standards to the CanCogen specification and facilitates information exchange between different model representations. Now to look at an overview of the CanCogen specification using OBO and LinkML data structures. So within the specification, we're using broad field categories as classes and individual fields are being instantiated as instances or also known as individuals. Um, 
to be represented in the structure. Um, if you want to think of it, you can think of it as a class. A class could be, say, the sequencer and a specific sequencer model, whereas the instance would be that genome sequencer, but it's unique instance of existing in your laboratory. We have data property assertions, which to continue with this example would be, for example, short read data um, capability that then connects instances with literal data values. Well, object property assertions connect instances to other instances, for example, a specific serial number, number that belongs to the model you have in your lab. In these cases, via class intermediaries. So here we have an example of the tabular owl export feature we are working on for the data harmonizer. It will enable the export of curated data that corresponds to the specification permissible values, i.e. pick lists, and convert them into ontology IDs, as well as the ontology, the, the field instances. All ontology IDs have current URLs, which are accessible online and contain additional information, avoiding semantic ambiguity and information mismatching by providing a controlled vocabulary to users. In conclusion, Ontologizing the Kankagen specification will facilitate the export of comparable and interoperable datasets converging from different sources while providing a controlled vocabulary and improved mapping to other standards via LinkML. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge our provincial and national collaborators who continue to provide valuable feedback along with other project collaborators and alumni. Our funding agencies without whom we could not have done this work and BOSS 2021 for giving us the platform to share this with all of you. Thank you so much.